Welcome back to the channel or welcome along if you're new. Now, if you're looking for your next Chromebook to have some more premium features included, this HP X360 14C might just tick the box. It's a 14 inch fully convertible full HD touchscreen Chromebook. This particular model variant, as detailed in the video description, features a backlit keyboard, a fingerprint reader, a webcam privacy control and more. Let's get into an unboxing. This is a refurbished Chromebook, it is a grade A, so likely just a customer return. As you can see, it came in the original box and I can't fault the condition. I paid just £223, that's a little over US dollars or about €260. Euros. And this was on eBay when they had a 20% off voucher running as well. I did post to Twitter at the time, so do follow there if you're interested in deals like this and do share your finds as well. So straight away the machine is looking great, it's got the newer HP logo on top, it is a 2020 model. Port wise over on the right hand side you've got a micro SD card slot, headphone socket, you've got a USB-C port and you've got a USB-A port with this kind of chin protector, I guess just a bit more premium. Over on the left hand side you've got another USB-C port for power and data, you've got the power button with a LED strip built into it, you've got a physical volume rocker and you've got a switch that can just kill the webcam straight away. I'll show you more on that in a little bit. On the back you have got some vents there and you will see or you will have seen there are grills underneath as well so there are fans in this model but honestly they're so quiet it's really not an issue. Uh, much quieter I found than compared to the Lenovo Flex 5i for example. Spec wise you can see I've got the Intel Gold processor in this one. Uh, there are more powerful models out there with an i3 or a Core i5 as well as models with the lower end Intel Silver Celeron processor. I think this might be the sweet spot especially for price and performance and generally over a day easily of battery life and with those fans barely kicking in and the machine not getting too hot or being too noisy I think the trade-off is is really minimal um, it's really snappy it performs really well it's got 64 gig of storage um, 4 gig of RAM it would have been nice to have 128 gig of storage on a model like this uh, maybe some slightly faster storage but again with the price point I can't really complain 8 gig of RAM as well sure that would have been nice and there are models out there with that if you want to pay a bit more. Just showing you some photos there of all the different convertible modes, including tablet mode, but let's get back inside that keyboard deck, show you the trackpad. It's a glass trackpad, really nice to use. The keyboard as well, a pleasure to type on. Let me give you a quick example of that. As mentioned at the start of the video, the keyboard is backlit, so you can use the Alt key and the screen brightness keys to dim or make it brighter. And then either side of the keyboard, you've got these front-facing B&O speakers. So it's great to have those there. I always think the branding is a bit of hype, but they do sound better than, say, the speakers on the Flex 5i. But at the end of the day, they're laptop speakers. Here's a bit of audio from one of my other videos, so you can go and compare it and see what you think. So I was pretty hopeful for the Asus Spin 513 Chromebook, but let me explain to you why I ended up sending this one back. So I've got to say the packaging is really nice. Maybe I've just been opening too many refurbs in plain brown boxes lately. Hopefully that gave you some idea, but I'd just have to say that they are on the better side of Chromebook speakers that I've heard recently. The screen itself, so uh, full HD, 14 inch, decent touch response, 250 nits. And the only complaint I have is I just sometimes wished it would go a little bit brighter. Um, fairly small bezels all round and you've got that webcam sitting up the top there. Uh, 720p 0.9 megapixel the trick that it has got is this switch on the left hand side that I showed you earlier so if you flick it to turn it to the red um, it's actually going to disable the webcam and then you'll get a red dot up by the webcam itself so there's not a physical slider like on the flex 5 from Lenovo but you have got this way in a meeting or whenever you want just to quickly disable it and know that it's been turned off the overall build quality of this machine is great and it does have that aluminum or aluminium top uh, to both the machine and the keyboard deck and a really good quality plastic bottom um, but it still weighs in at about 1.5 kilograms that's about 3.4 pounds so it's certainly not the lightest machine out there. On the plus side, you're going to see Chrome OS updates all the way through to June 2028 with the 14C. And if you are in the market for a mid-sized Chromebook, then I highly recommend you check out the Asus Spin 513 and the Lenovo Flex 5i in my playlist here. Cheers.